Hey guys, welcome to another episode. It is bright and early this morning. Got some coffee ready to get going. Today we are jumping on our wiper motor. Um, it does not want to work. Um, so we're going to do and jump into that and see what we can get figured out. Wiper motors often go out on these cars, so we're going to dive into it and see what we can find. Just real quick before we jump in, if you guys do not know how to remove your wiper motor, I'm going to show you really quick. All you have to do is pop the hood, lift this here, get it propped up like that. And then you remove some screws all on the, the front here. This whole cowl will remove and the wiper motor sits right here. You just flip it upside down. There's three 10 millimeter bolts that detach it uh, from that point here and unplug it from the wires that are right underneath here. And you bring it over to the bench. And this is what you'll have, something just like this. So this is the one out of the car. It actually works just fine. You can actually hear the motor turning on the inside, but nothing out here was spinning. This wasn't moving. It was really, really uh, dragging and wouldn't turn at all. So I dove into it off camera, pulled this off, and the main drive gear in here was actually cracked in half um, all the way across. And I'll show you a picture of that. So you can tell that it looked pretty bad. So all of this is all dirty and gross. We need to clean this out. The good thing is we know the, the motor works. It just wasn't turning because that gear was cracked. So I got a donor offline. This one does not work, um, but I hope that the gear that's underneath here is gonna be just uh, gonna be just fine. So we're gonna take off these four flat heads, pull it off and take a look at that gear. So this is what the drive gear actually looks like on the inside. This one does have some cracks on it, unfortunately, but it's not cracked all the way through like the other one. So what I think I may do is just uh, try and melt that plastic together. We'll pop it out, clean up our old one, get all that gunk out of there, that old grease, and we will pop this one out and we'll get our soldering iron, kind of melt that plastic back together to stop the cracks. And we'll get this one plugged into here. We'll plug it in and see if it'll work. A few moments later, so I'm having a heck of a time getting this gear out of here. And the more I mess with it, the more I can tell I'm kind of cracking it. And that's the last thing I want to do. Um, I did plug it into the car with all the appropriate connectors and it wouldn't spin. Um, but this one does. My original one does. Um, it's definitely a little cleaner um, than the, the donor one. But what I think I'm going to do is just to try and save that gear is uh, change out the whole back end here. There's only some flathead screws that hold it on. And I'll pull the whole thing all the way through. My only concern is these two wires coming out. I'm gonna have to uh, like desolder them to get them to come through. But uh, that gear is just on there. There's a textured stud in here that's got grooves in it. And it's just, it's on there. Um, even when I had this broken one in here, I had to basically break it in half to get it out. And that's the last thing I wanna do on our donor one. So let's try it with getting this whole back end out and see if we can just swap it over and see if that'll fix our problem. We took our cowl off and we're just gonna reconnect um, our motor here, red to red. The previous owner was actually really nice and labeled these correctly with the red tape to red, the gray and black to gray and black. And then the white tape was to the white connector. It actually saves me a lot of time. But you can also just trace the wires gray to gray, blue to blue, and so on and so forth. And we're gonna see if we can get this right here to turn. So I'm gonna turn the key on and see if we can get that to work. Well, that was kind of a fail. Didn't really work. Um, so back to the drawing board. We're gonna see if we can get that gear out. We may have to punch it through because this thing doesn't work at all. For some reason, I don't really want to diagnose it. I'd rather just get the gear out into the one that we know works. And um, you know, maybe we punch out that middle uh, piece and see if it'll come out. I'm not sure. So we're gonna play with it on the bench and keep diagnosing and see what we can get out get that gear out of there. Good news, we were able to get the shaft out of the gear after soaking it in our ultrasonic cleaner several dozen times, PB blaster, all that good stuff to get it out. 
And then I realized that the bad news is this is actually all part of it. So you see that the bottom there is broken. A lot of little plastic pieces came off because it's all molded together. There's not like a snap ring that sits in this groove that you can release. So you had to pop it out just by forcing it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our soldering iron and start uh, soldering up some of these cracks. You can see some here along this cam lobe here, here. We're gonna get that nice and hot and we're just gonna melt the plastic at the ends of the cracks. That way we stop the spreading of the crack. And then we'll be able to come in with our motor and we'll be able to put some fresh grease in here, freshly grease the splines on the motor. And we'll be able to drop that in there and then we'll see how it goes. We've got the gear back in there. We put some of our red high temperature grease in there. Uh, this is just kind of a general grease. And we looped all underneath it. We looped the splines of the drive gear for the motor, uh, where the shaft sits, the, the ribs here. We put some grease there. Um, all along the outside, all along the bottom, filled it up um, to make sure that it's nice and lubricated. Got some on the teeth of the gear as well. We're gonna seal this up. We're gonna put the screws back in it and we can plug it in and see how it goes. We're plugged back in. We need to get, make sure our battery is attached and we're gonna give this a test. Would you look at that? How awesome is that? We saw the arm moving both speeds even though they're kind of hard to tell. They, uh, they work, the, the gears are awesome. Uh, that was our big fix. And having the soldering uh, iron melt those cracks really saved our skin. So we are able to get this all reassembled, attach it back to our cowl and put it back together and put our wipers on. Now it's time for the real test. I don't have the wipers on. I don't have actual wiper blades, so I don't want to scratch the window with the metal arm. I do have them, they're in the trunk, but uh, we're gonna see if these rotate. Um, I lubricated everything before we did a reassembly. You saw it was pretty easy. Just had to kind of finagle that uh, motor in there and get everything lined up and tightened up just right. Got all the screws down. Let's see how we did. Power is on. Hey, there we go. That's slow, and that's supposed to be fast, but I didn't really see much of a change. So, maybe up next, our biggest upgrade will be probably a wiper relay. Um, I think that'll really help us out um, with the wiper speed. I do have the kit. It's on a shelf back here somewhere. I do have the kit, so maybe we'll do that in the future. If you wanna see that video, let me know. We'll do a wiper relay video. Um, a really easy setup just to make these faster and more practical. Of course, we hope to never get caught in the rain in this thing, but better safe than sorry. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this episode. It was actually a really straightforward process. Just had to get that gear out, lesson learned, that they're just kind of attached to that shaft um, and you have to break it um, just a little bit to get it off. Um, there are aftermarket gears that you can get to replace that, uh, but I had that donor one, so it's worth trying to see what we can work with first before we spend the money to get a new one. Um, we did solder those the plastic together to make sure that those cracks don't spread. So we'll see how long that'll last for us. Um, you know, if it ends up giving out down the road, um, we'll just have to replace it. But for now, it works. We can pass inspection with good working wipers. We lubricated everything just fine. Really easy process. We had good power. We knew the motor worked. We could hear it spinning over, but that gear was just shot. So replacing that gear was the way to go. Um, really straightforward. Real simple. Quick video for you guys. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out. It helps out the channel. We still do have some merch available. We still got some shirts for 15 bucks and drink sleeves for five. If you want one of those, just send me an email at garagetimetv at gmail.com and we'll get you hooked up. You went back to your house so you can start rocking it like I do. So thank you guys so much and until next time, we'll see you.